It was uh, July 23rd, and uh, I was out of town. My wife and kids were home at the time. They had just left to go pick up a friend, and lightning struck the house. Um, the house was in, engulfed in flames in a matter of minutes. Neighbors spotted the fire and immediately called 911. When I got to Ursa, I followed a truck the last five miles back to my house, knowing exactly where it was going. Then the next day, went out and saw what was left, and there wasn't much. It's weird to think that all that stuff is gone, but it's just stuff, and we can get new stuff. Once the smoke cleared, the Rebeskis began a three-month journey with their insurance company. Basically, we, we were left with no documentation whatsoever of anything that we owned, and we had to go back from memory and envision every room and absolutely everything that was in it, going drawer by drawer, what was in this drawer, you know, from candles to silverware to tape dispensers to pencil sharpeners uh, to plates, you name it. We had to list every single thing that we owned. That was just the first step. Finding prices for every item became the second. Insurance agencies are making it a lot easier to document your belongings. iPhone apps like this one lets you take as many pictures as you'd like of things in and outside of your home. Just take the photo, type in a description and price, and you're done. All at the tip of your fingers. If you do take an inventory and, and do use the videos or pictures or list, you know, don't keep them in the house. Get it to another friend, get it to a relative, get it out of the house so that you have it in case something does happen to your house. It could save you time, money, and heartache. Brooke Hash Cage, QATV7 News, Ursa, Illinois.